Hello, hello, hello. Hi, it's Colin Baptiste here from GradeAComputerScience.com. Thanks for uh, joining this video. And in this video, we'll be looking at the data and control bus. Now, uh, we did look at the address bus as part of computer architecture for a computer. Uh, if you haven't seen that, have a look at my channel, subscribe to my channel, and you'll have a look and you'll be able to see that video plus a load of others. Okay, let's talk about the data and control bus. So, firstly, starting with the data bus. Now, with the data bus, okay, the data bus provides a bi-directional, bi-directional path. That means it travels in two ways. Okay, one way, two ways. You can see here, the CPU travel, well, that's the control bus. The, uh, the data bus here is two ways it travels in two directions the width of the data bus is a key factor in determining the overall performance of a computer system now the idea is that the wider your data bus the faster it can transmit data so it can have an 8 or 16 bits wide data bus 32 bits 64 bits and the wider it is the quicker information will be transmitted um, on that bus and of course it can then be processed so it is a key factor the width of data of the data bus is a key factor in the overall performance of the computer system okay so you want to bear that in mind as one of the key factors and we will be looking at the key factors uh, later on in uh, another video okay moving on so that's the data bus and now we're going to look at the control bus now the control bus again is a bi-directional bus so you can see here the CPU uh, transmits with the uh, onto the control bus uh, in a bi-directional manner let's just ink that up here and you can see it's a bi-directional manner here let's use some red okay there we go okay so use it in a bi-directional manner okay uh, and likewise the CPU onto the, uh, sorry the memory onto the likewise the memory onto the control bus the input output onto the control bus it's all bi-directional now why control bus the control bus is provided to transmit command timing and status information so that's command information timing information and status information those three areas so the control bus is used to combine to transmit those three areas uh, the information pertaining to those three areas between system components all right so between the cpu and the memory there will be information pertaining to uh, commands timing and status all right so that's very important for the control bus the control bus must ensure that there are no conflicts there is no conflict when system components are trying to access are trying to access or use the data or address buses so there's a bit of flow control going on here uh, using the control bus to make sure that when someone's trying to transmit information so for instance if the CPU is trying to uh, put information on the address bus the control control bus needs to make sure that there's no other information on the address bus so it's clear for the CPU to be able to transmit that information which will normally be some sort of uh, address to memory to collect some sort of or to fetch some sort of data yet yeah, so it's important that the control bus does control the data that's flying between these system components all right so that's why the control control bus is so important so that's the control bus in a nutshell now just so you can see uh, the control bus this is here we've got a 6502 whoops here we've got a 6502 uh, processor okay and here we are 6502 processor okay and I've put this picture here so you can see some of the 
um, lines that are available on the 6502. I, I mean, obviously, you've got the address lines here. Okay. Address lines. These are address lines here. 12 up to 15. Okay. And then you've got the uh, data lines. So these are the, this is the data bus. D0 to D7. And then the other lines, most of which are your um, your control lines. So IRQ is a control line, NMI is a control line, um, and there are some others there as well. Ready is a control line. Okay, and um, so those lines can be used to ensure that the timing, the commands, and uh, the status of the of the uh, buses are transmitted to the various system components okay so in summary we looked at the uh, the data bus we looked at the data bus here we go Not very good is it eh? <laughs> we looked at the data bus and we looked at the control bus, okay, and how uh, the data bus is used to, con to send information, and it's a bi-directional bus, and we looked at the control bus, which is also a bi-directional bus, and we looked at how the features of these buses and what they actually do. Okay, I hope you like that video, and I would ask you to subscribe, like, and give us a comment, um, or you can visit uh, gradecomputerscience.com and you'll find there lots of other videos and resources that I'm sure will help you to pass your computer science class. This is Colin Baptiste from Grade A Computer Science.